I grew up in a youth home, um, so that was part of the reason that we were helping this kid. Um, I had several people through the years that have helped me out um, in similar ways, um, and I just wanted to kind of give back and be there for somebody else like so many have been for me. Um, so basically, we moved this kid in, in February. Um, we were helping him through his senior year of high school, uh, his last semester, and trying to uh, kind of give him the family. Yo, what's up? This KC, the Red Pill Alpha, back at y'all again with that heat. Now, disregard the sun back there and pay attention to this game right here. You did. And we're going to get straight to it. Wrists, elbows, knees, everything to the back of her neck, holding her down, locking her down, submerging her down with that game. And fellas, good looking out. I'm getting that in the YouTube section. I definitely appreciate it. If I don't get back at you, I'm getting to that moolah on doing these videos. Real shit. Real talk. Now, um, send me some vid. Go to my bow section. Drop a donation. Don't matter what you drop. Just support the channel. Send me a video. Send me the video you want to send me or a topic of a video or a topic that you want me to do about whatever is going on, you know. I will do that, but go drop that donation, go to my bow section, everything over there on how to get at me, get at me. A thousand is a goal. My videos are for educational purposes only, and let's get to it. No relationship lasts forever unless you're that scared to leave her. No relationship lasts forever unless you're that scared to leave her. Remember that, fellas. Man, that video's crazy, ain't it? He adopted the dude. Hold up. Adopting a 19-year-old, though. It's like adopting a grown-ass man. So you bought pipe into your household to dig down your wife, right? Something wrong. Fellas, it's very important to know that a relationship doesn't last forever. Someone will either pass away or the relationship will eventually take its course. We as men always try to salvage something that we know that's not good for us. However, it's us that loves harder than women. And we know why we love harder than women. We put too much into them. Not only our resource, our time, we drop things and come running to them. You know, un unconscious guys do that. I've done it before in my past. So I'm going to add, when I say us men, I'm adding myself in because I was a part of that problem. Being fucked up, simping and shit. I've done it all. I've did that, you know, I've done the alpha role, you know, I I live my life, man, I'm 40 years old and I'm still living, you know, so um, we always try to salvage something that we know that's not good for us, and the reason why is because we put a lot into it, we just don't want to throw it away, you get it, we just don't want to just throw anything away, we put a lot into it, like our vehicles, like our homes, our clothes, some of us, our pride, our game, our energy, I mean, the, what, the way we, you know, how, how we um, structure anything we put something into, we don't want to just waste it. You get what I'm saying? But that's something that needs to change, fellas. I had to change that. You're going to have to change that. If it's not worth being around, if it's not worth keeping, let the shit go. It must get up out your life because it's holding you back from succeeding on to the next person. Who's willing to be in your life and be on your um, point of view and willing to see things the way it needs to be saying with and willing to fit your program, man. Just that, you know, seeing things the way it needs to be seen and she's willing to fit your program. You get what I'm saying? Don't wait. Don't do not. I must fellas, I must repeat. Do not waste your energy on something that's over with. When it's done, it's done. It's spilled milk. Clean that shit up. Throw the towel away and keep pushing, man. Just that simple. We will place so much of our time, energy, and attention into our women, not realizing that there's no reciprocation in it for us. Women only care about women, fellas. Remember, women only care about women. They only care about themselves. That's just what it is. That's their nature. That's their chemical makeup. Well, I ain't going to say nature because, you know, because you do got women that do care about you and see your point of view. That's not all women that cares about themselves. However... It's in them all to care about themselves if they got to. And they will resort to caring about themselves. No if, ands, buts about it. You know, but you do got women out there that will spill their time, energy, and attention on to you. You do have women out there like this. It's a big world. 
you know. But stay successful, man. Stay, stay knowing that um you are the shit. Stay confident. Stay, stay knowing that shit. Every time you wake up in the morning, can't nobody touch me. Can't nobody touch me but me and God. Other than that, who, who gonna touch me? My shit don't stink. Think like that about yourself. And you'll drag all that energy, you know what I'm saying, around your circle of women that want you for you, seeing your point of view. Oh, yeah. But you must love you, though. This is real talk. Let's get to it, man. You know, like I was saying, you know, unless you run across that, you know, unless you run across a woman that's willing to share your point of view. Otherwise, they're only concerned about what suits them. However, one of the biggest mistakes any man can make is allowing another man into his married household. Can't allow another man to your household like that. You got a wife and kids, man. I mean, you're risking shit, man. Fellas, this is what you're witnessing in the video. Even though the guy is saying how he grew up in a foster home, made him want to reach back and help out another young man <clears throat> that's going through what he went through, right? Now, listen to what he's saying. He's helping out a 19-year-old. He's basically being naive to the fact that that 19-year-old is a grown-ass man. Let that 19-year-old go out and commit a crime. They're going to send his 19-year-old ass to prison with men. They're going to certify him. But he's already certified because he's past 16 years old. They're going to treat him like a man. So what? He ain't 21. He got a couple more years. He'll be 21. Real talk. That's just, that's just life. Because he's 19? That motherfucking 19-year-old got a man pipe. <laughs> he got man game. And put that shit on your goddamn woman if she's liking him and she's interested in him. Can't be that damn naive and nice guy -ish, man. Come on now. That's, that's crazy, man. <laughs> I don't believe... And, and I'm going to keep it real, man. <laughs> I'm going to keep it real. I don't believe it was his idea to adopt this, that 19-year-old. You know, I believe it was his wife's idea. It's just me personally, but I'm going to get into it. I believe it was her idea. Not saying that she was lust. She seen him and was lusting on him and she liked him wanted to bring him in. That's possible. That's true. She could have seen him a couple months. Oh, I like him. Yeah, let's adopt him and put him up to him, you know, suckered him in. The, yeah, let's go with this, you know. That's possible. You know, it could have happened like I'm just gonna leave it like it could have happened like that. But I believe that um now let me get to it, man. You know. Now, I believe it was his wife's idea. It was his, it was her idea. Simply because he cried to her about his childhood like a simp. Ooh, hit the like button. Cause that's what it is. Pillow talk, cry about his childhood instead of letting it go, manning the fuck up and living his life as a man. Yeah, I believe that. And she put him up to adopting a teen man. <laughs> by him being so damn nice and not listening, excuse me, by him being so damn nice and listening to a bitch backfired on his sucker ass. Now his wife is getting energy dicked by a 19-year-old that was calling him dad. Ooh. Well, of course, he called her mom. She, she's nurturing his lifestyle and his nuts, right? <laughs> Fellas, y'all need to pay very close attention to your surroundings. The majority of y'all have already met the man who will be smashing your woman once shit goes bad, you know, in y'all relationship. And if you haven't met him, he's somewhere close by anyway. He's been around. She's been communicating on the side. Now, mind you this, now he's in his feelings. <laughs> he's butthurt, you dig? He's angry, he feel ashamed of himself. You know, he should have never did what he did. So now he's showing photo slides, you see what he's doing, of their children. Like that's going to either bring her back or make her see what she's missing out on. She made her decision to fuck up the marriage, so she's out of here for life, bro. That's your mentality. That's what mentality you should have, dude, in the video. 
You know what I'm saying? Real talk. For life. Fuck that shit. She puts those kids out of her. She knows that they're, you know, they're with him in good hands. You know, with his simp ass basically in good hands. She just doesn't care about being with the family. She made her decision. You must understand that, fellas. You know? She see value in a 19-year-old stud. That's what it is. Nothing you can do will bring her back. It'll be up to her. It'll be her decision to come. It'll be her decision to come back. Just like it was her decision to jump, shift, monkey, branch, cheat, and do scandalous shit, shicey shit, backdoor, a situation that that was a helpful situation. She backdoored it and ended up knocking off the pipe of the young man that you brought in. But, you know, I'm just going to keep it real. Now, unless she's coming back with a nice bag. Now, that's a different story. She's coming back with that money. You know, for me to forgive any chick, I must get paid. Or she must keep it pushing. She broke the oath. And that's the game. Any chick that want to come back and be forgiven, fellas, how much do she got? That's your mentality. What you got, baby? We ain't going to waste no time. How much money you got? You going to look out for him? What you got? You got to pay the piper. You fucked up. You must pay your debt to to this motherfucking relationship and to this game. What you got? What you what, What's in it for me? If ain't nothing in it for me, keep going. You ain't shit. Holla. <laughs> Like these videos, share them, and subscribe. It's the message. A thousand is the goal. Let's get there. Holla.